This is Robert from Rebolts, and this is a hands-on of the just-released iOS 7 beta from Apple. It was announced this morning at their annual WWDC conference and is a major release from Apple, which brings the biggest changes to iOS since the original iPhone. Featuring an entirely new design language, Apple is looking to get away from their old skeuomorphic ways and focus on something much more sleek and modern. The update includes a new lock screen that gives you access to a redesigned tab notification center by swiping down, as well as the new control center, which allows you to toggle things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, and even things like your music or access to a flashlight app at any time by simply swiping upwards in any app. All of the traditional apps are redesigned with a new interface, such as Messages, which features new animations and a new keyboard. This keyboard is system-wide, and while the layout of the keyboard is largely the same, a new lighter font is being used across the new operating system. In addition, Apple's made changes to the Calendar app to comply with the new design language, as well as Photos, which utilizes geolocation and timestamps to organize your photos for you. Moving on to the camera, the new camera features Instagram-esque filters and feels much faster than before. In fact, the whole OS feels much snappier with updated apps like weather and clock, adding small moving details to enhance the user experience. All user interface elements utilize translucency so that you have a feel for where content is. Apple said this morning at their conference that they're looking for a layered approach to design. Now, in addition to these new visual redesigns and improvements, things like the multitask switcher are now updated and offer full multitasking for all apps. This means that you'll never click on a notification again and have to wait for it to update. It'll update in the background and also pick out the apps that you use the most and update those more frequently. The new software also tracks your usage patterns to determine what to devote more computing power to. And Apple's even taking the best parts of WebOS and utilizing them here and treating them like multitasking and a card system. Now, in the music app, Apple's added iTunes Radio, which is their next big move into the music industry. It functions a lot like Pandora or Spotify and acts as a music discovery engine, which allows you to make playlists based on a genre, artist, or even a song. You're then given access to controls like never play this song or play more songs like this or add this playlist to my favorites. A lot of other apps remain largely unchanged, with things like settings only taking a slight visual update. Passbook functions in almost the exact same way as before, but again with a visual update while the iTunes and App Stores have been updated with additional functionality. Game Center is one of the most notable updates, featuring a clean, white interface instead of the previous green felt design that many people dislike greatly. Some nods to the old design are still present in Apple's new apps, such as the Notes app which has an incredibly subtle texture behind the new interface that gets rid of the old handwritten font. Things like stocks and videos are largely the same, featuring minor visual updates as well as the ability to instantly download a video or song from iCloud. Now, both songs and videos sync to your device, as well as items you've purchased on iTunes but are not synced to your device, now appear in your library. Now you can easily download them with just a tap, so you always know what you've already purchased. Overall, iOS 7 is a much-needed improvement to Apple's ecosystem and showcases a distinct design direction that will take the company in a more modern, refined direction. iOS 7 is available today in beta to developers and will be available to the public this fall.